Hey there, mamas. I'm Jennifer Elwood with the Seeing Deep intern team here to ponder what sacrificial giving can look like at Christmas time. When I think about the living God who sent his son Jesus to be with us, Emmanuel, I consider this the most sacrificial gift ever given to anyone. It is huge. But if I don't have the right mindset, I can feel like what I give back to the Lord will never be enough. When I feel like I don't measure up myself, it's a massive challenge to teach my children the same thing. And if I'm uneasy to sacrificially give, setting an example for my kids fizzles. I don't say any of this to beat us up, but to inspire us all to do it well. Because in reality, I am preaching to myself too. Thankfully, we have some help from God's word to frame this thought and put it in the right place. One verse I really love is this. Whoever has a bountiful eye would be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. It's from Proverbs 22, 9. I love this concept of a bountiful eye. In the Middle East, historically, as well as in modern times, it is said that a generous person is one who has a good eye. For this Christmas and into the new year, let's be moms who not only embody this phrase, but share it with our kids as well. And here are three ways to do it. The first one is to choose gifts for friends that we don't know with contributions with from their own savings or tithing. We as a family regularly send Operation Christmas Child boxes every year and choose gifts to donate to local organizations for families in need. Including your children in all of this makes the giving real to them. When we have shopping treks that they know that they cannot shop for themselves, it helps them see that Christmas isn't just about them. It's about others too. And yeah, there's whining at some point, but it's worth it to persevere and show our kids that Christmas is about others. The second one is reminding our kids how precious the gift of time is and volunteer your time to a gospel spreading organization. It's likely that a local homeless youth food bank organization are looking for people just like you and your family right now. Giving together as a family can knit our hearts together and begins conversations about Christ we could never manufacture on our own. For our family at this point, most of this happens on Zoom. We regularly support a couple in Uganda with their monthly missions, and my kids are well connected to this. And they're, in fact, even becoming Zoom friends with their sweet kids, and I can only imagine what these relationships will bloom into as years pass. And the last one is write letters together as a family to encourage someone in missions field to connect to your family to start up the new year. Do you support a missions group or do you sponsor a child in another country? I highly recommend taking time as a family to sit down and write a letter. It's another way to give of our time in a way that connects our hearts to others around the globe and can bring the gospel to the recipients as well as to our own kids. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have the merriest of Christmas.